Allison and Peter talk to you about their guardianship arrangements? No. Well, in preparing their will, we talked about who would take care of Sophie in the unlikely event that they should both die, and they named you. Both of you. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. You, they picked uh, us together? That. I'm sure this isn't exactly how you wanted to start a family. There's been a misunderstanding. Yeah. We are not married. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. They, uh, they, they tried to set us up in a blind yeah, date. We never even made it to well. the restaurant. Now, there are some things in life that you can always rely on. Footballers will always pull glamour models. X Factor contestants will always go like this when they want you to vote for them. And Catherine Heigl, it seems, will always make rom-coms where she's a stuck-up control freak who has to deal with some sexist Neanderthal that she ends up falling in love with. After the brilliant Knocked Up and the not-so-brilliant Ugly Truth comes Life As We Know It, where she and Josh Duhamel are chalk and cheese godparents to a baby girl. Go ahead. What? Why me? Because I'm the girl? Uh, yeah. No, uh-uh. Well, Messer, I am not, not changing diapers for the next two years. Listen, hot. Get in okay, there. Fine. You know Go what? ahead. Easy. It's not that... What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. It's not a bra that I'm taking off a chick. It's a diaper that I'm taking off a baby. Okay. Is there a science. box that I can read Just or something? Just take the tabs off. Mm. Oh! Oh, God! Oh. Don't do that! Oh, You're making oh, It's like Slumdog Millionaire in there. You're making me I can't. Stop. She didn't eat enough to produce that. She had like two pieces of macaroni. Give me that. Okay, 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 okay. Give, give me the wipes. Okay. Give me the, another one. Hurry up. Come on. Uh, get it out of her toes. But it's like a poop suit. Just. Messer, don't leave me in here. Now, I'm convinced that framed on Katherine Heigl's kitchen wall is the sacred blueprint for all middle-of-the-road, utterly forgettable, three-star average romantic comedies. Every morning over her cornflakes, she reminds herself of the rules and the guidelines. For example, you've got to have a chase scene to an airport. You've got to have a gay best friend. You've got to have a good-looking A-list actress with perfect teeth and a lip-glossed pout pretend that actually she's some lonely minger who can't get a bloke. Life as we know it follows these rules with ruthless efficiency. It's Katherine Heigl, as Katherine Heigl always is. She's uptight, she's sexually frustrated, she's leaving you with that gnawing sensation in your gut that you kind of wish the movie had got Sandra Bullock instead. You want the cosy familiarity of another predictable rom-com? You're going to love this. But come on, Kat, why not try something different? Why not surprise us?